I had to refilm this intro like three times because I get the footage on my computer and I realize <laughs> that I've got like massive stains on my shirt. I'm like, yeah, that's good, Callie. You're sitting here and be like, hey, I design clothes. Follow me with a t-shirt with massive stains on it. That's really good. Yeah, really selling myself there. <laughs> feels so good. I was browsing Pinterest and Instagram and other clothing websites just to get a feel for some spring and summer trends of this year and there was one particular style of dress that I kept seeing. Um, I saw on Anthropology, Luca and Gray, Madewell, all over Pinterest and um, so I went to the thrift store and and picked up a very oversized unflattering pair of red and white striped pants um, for five dollars and I went ahead and transformed those into this style of dress that I think will just be perfect for this spring and summer and I am so excited to wear. The first thing I like to do with any refashion is I will take the piece of clothing and put it on my floor and just kind of look it over and see what, what I'm working with. So the first thing I decided to do was to open the seam on one side and take out that elastic waistband in the pants. Um, in this pair, they were only along the back side, so I wanted to take that out so that I could lay my pants completely flat. And once I had that waistband completely out, I flipped my pants inside out. And I'm going to show you, this is one of my tried and true refashioning methods that I discovered back in high school actually, um, to turn pants into a skirt. So you're going to unpick this seam where I just pointed is the crotch. You're going to unpick the inside of the leg and that seam that goes from the front of the pants to the back, like around your butt. Okay, once you have your seams unpicked, you're going to lay your pants down on the ground again and you're going to match up the side seams. So those side seams are now in the center and my front and back are on either side. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so that makes it so that the unpicked seams are on the sides and you can match them up as you see me doing right here. So this is the back side and the side I did before was the front of the pants. Basically what we're going to do is create a front and back seam that goes straight down um, as it's making a skirt rather than curving around between your legs like pants. So now I am just going to start kind of at the top but below the waistband and pin down um, that front and back. Basically in a straight line I'm doing slightly um, curved outward um, because I don't want this to be a super tight skirt but I am just going to pin all the way down from top to bottom on both the front and back of the skirt. And then we're going to take this over to the sewing machine and sew straight down those sides to create our new front and back seams to our skirt. Okay, next we're going to try it on. And voila, we have a skirt instead of pants. See how easy that is? This is seriously one of my favorite tricks and I have used it so many times. Okay, so now that we have this still very oversized skirt on, we are going to mark um, just where we wanna chop off the bottom. And I am just making this a knee length skirt, um, going to be a dress. So I am going to mark that and then take it to the ground and chop off the excess bottom. And in refashioning, we can use every scrap of fabric. So make sure you don't throw anything away as you cut it off, but keep it till the very end so that you have enough to work with. Okay, so that part that we just chopped off, I am now trying it around on my torso. So this is going to become the top of my dress. Um, and see, make sure you're lining up the seams where they're supposed to be so you can see that center seam there going down the front. Um, now I'm using some tailor's chalk to mark where I want the bottom of the bodice to be, um, the center, and then I am mapping out the shape that I want for this um, bodice on my dress. So I'm doing kind of a V-neck 
um, but you'll see that the, the center of the bodice is actually going to be open. So just carefully with Taylor's chalk or with a colored pencil, something that will wash out easily, make these marks um, for the general shape of your bodice. Okay, then we're gonna throw that back down on the floor and we will cut out that shape. So the first thing I'm doing is cutting that slit in the middle because remember I said the bodice is going to be open down the front, you'll see. Um, and then I'm going to cut out the v-neck shape at the top and then um, down around the armpits and straight across the back. Okay, the next thing I did is I just went ahead and finished all the edges of my bodice. So I am not doing this super professionally. I'm sure there's more professional ways out there, but I have never claimed to be an expert seamstress. I'm not super technical. I've never taken a sewing class. So this is just the way that I do it. <laughs> so I am just basically double folding all of my edges of my bodice, um, folding them over, ironing, pinning in place, and then I'll go back and sew those all down just so that I have all finished edges on my bodice. All right, now we're going to jump back to the skirt portion of the dress. So I'm going to try it on again, but this time inside out. And I am going to start pinning down the sides to create the shape and the fit that I want for the skirt. This part can be the tricky part. Um, it takes some practice and it may take some unpicking. So my advice would be to, when you sew these down, um, use a basting stitch first. That basically just means to turn up the stitch length. Um, when you sew it first so that you can try it on make sure it fits and if it doesn't it's easier to unpick um, and if it does you can just go back in with a smaller stitch and stitch over that same line so I'm putting my skirt on the ground drawing that line um, of the new seams I'm gonna put down the side based on where I pinned when I tried it on and pinning that in place and then sewing down the sides of the skirt And now we have a skirt that fits and we can match the bodice to the skirt. So I'm taking my bodice that I finished all the edges on and I'm going to lay it on my skirt right sides together and I'm going to start in the middle in the front and then pinning it around the whole top of the skirt. And um, if your bodice does not fit the same as the skirt, you may need to go back in and adjust some of those seams, the side seams to make sure they match up. Um, then I'm just going to go along with a quarter inch seam allowance and sew those together. Okay, now I'm gonna jump to making the straps for my dress. Is to cut one inch strips from some of your excess fabric. And once you have a few of those strips, sew them together if you need extra length for your straps. Um, but then you're gonna take those strips over to the ironing board and you'll fold them in half first lengthwise and um, iron that so that you have a nice crisp crease down the middle. And then you will open that back up and then fold each side into the middle. Um, and then you'll close it back up all again. So basically, if you have a one inch strip, uh, your strap will end up being a fourth of that width wide. So these will be quarter inch width straps. And you'll just finish those with a quick top stitch all the way down. Okay, the last thing we need to construct are the ties for the front of the dress. So if you'll remember, I said there's a gap down the front, so we're gonna create some ties to tie that kind of closed. Um, so I cut these about three inches wide, and I just did nine inches long. And once I had these cut, I just folded over the edges to finish those raw edges. Okay, so lastly, we want to attach those ties to the front. I'm just gonna tuck them in um, that slit in the front, tuck them, pin them, sew them, 
and we'll also attach the straps to the points at the front and around to the back. And then the last thing we have to do is just hem the bottom and we are all done. Okay, let's go ahead and see the final transformation. refashion it was super fun for me to do I loved the challenge of taking pants and making them into a dress if you decide to try out this refashion at home or use any of these techniques I showed today please be sure to tag me in your social media posts I would love to see what you're up to um, you can find my social media links down in the description box below and I think that's all I have to say so I hope that you guys are having a great warm sunny not snowing day wherever you are and I will see you again soon with another project. Bye, guys. <sighs> Could really go for some Taco Bell right now. The camera battery is flashing, which is lovely. I saw a post on Facebook the other day, an article that said that Taco Bell is like one of the healthiest fast foods, which I am all about Taco Bell. So now I'm trying to convince my husband that Taco Bell is healthy, period. Not going so well. <laughs> He's not buying it. He doesn't love Taco Bell. I don't know why I married him. Just kidding. <laughs> How do people do this? I'm hungry. Everyone has like a standard order if they go to Taco Bell. What's yours? Question of the day. What is your standard order at Taco Bell? Mine is a supreme beef chalupa with no tomatoes and a p spicy potato soft taco, easy on the chipotle on the side. And then if my baby's with me, I get him the nacho fries because he loves them. I think they're pretty gross, but he loves them. And now you know all you need to know about me. You know my Taco Bell order. We're basically best friends. <laughs>